mind to it. You can do like anything. I mean, I know that's like a cliche thing to say, like you can do anything you put your mind to, but you really can if you're willing to like put that work in. Hey, what's going on, you variety-loving people? I hope you're ready to add some spice to your day. Welcome back to Secret Spice of Life. We're your hosts. I'm Brandon. And I'm Jordan. And if you're new, welcome to the podcast. Um, I hope you have your brains turned on and your to-do list ready because today we're talking about mindset and motivation. Um, I knew what I was going to talk about before we started this, but uh, I kind of want to go in a different direction at the start now since like uh, something's changed a little bit. But uh, one of my players came up to me after practice, and uh, he asked me, he said, um, we need to figure out a way to get motivated. He's like, how do you do that? And, like, that got me thinking. Like, I'm like, I, I told him every, at the end of the day, everybody's an individual. Different things motivate different people. Mm-hmm. But as a team, like, how do you motivate people? Like, I remember when we played basketball, like in high school, I'm, I wasn't really a fan of our coach, but one thing I did do have to say about him is that he could get people like motivated to play and stuff like that. He always gave like a great speech or like something before we I went remember out. Remember the uh, remember the story you told us the first day of like uh, first day of like conditioning or uh, camp or whatever. I don't think so. No. About the lum- lumberjack cutting down the tree or whatever. I don't, I don't, I don't think down. so. I don't even remember the story, but I remember like like he we were out there like messing around and he took everybody back in the locker room. Yeah. And, like. Um, he told us something about this lumberjack or something cutting down a tree. <laughs> it was like some story that got everybody like hyped or yeah, whatever. I don't know. And he's like, if if um, he said if you're ready to follow me on this journey or whatever, he yeah, said like yeah. come out to the court with yeah. me or whatever. Yeah. And people like ran off yeah, the center that. and everything. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, I, and I remember uh, when our first like high school games, like senior year, uh, Lee his like little speech before we went on the field and for our first like <laughs> a night of playing. It was the first game ever under the lights. Right? Yeah, yeah, at the high school. Yeah. But uh, and then uh, I was thinking back to like times we didn't have like a coach or like some influencer to like motivate us. We had to kind of find it in ourselves. But it was like before you played soccer. It was like middle school, I think. We went up to Edinburgh and we played South Allegheny. And uh, it was, like, South Allegheny Oil Region and, like, some other big school that was, like, up there from, like, Erie. Mm-hmm. And uh, and I remember we weren't supposed to do anything. We were, like, uh, like 12 and we were playing, like, U14 or U15 League or something like that. And mm-hmm. and South Allegheny, man, they looked like they freaking had, like, grown men on their team. I remember they were supposed to, like, wipe the floor with us. <laughs> and, like, they were laughing at us in, like, warm-ups and stuff like that because we were so small. And we freaking shut them out. We beat them one nothing. <laughs> and, like, I, like, I don't – like, it's just, like, like, I guess this is, like, more of a message to, like, like them than anybody but like i try to like put it in them that that on, on any given day anything can happen like i could walk outside tomorrow and get hit by a car like like that could happen but on any given day any team can lose a game like yeah. you have to be like just willing to put in that work and like practice and like not have that mindset going into a game well, like you can beat this well, the team. number one thing is um is belief like yeah, belief, yeah, belief, yeah, yeah. Well, is like yeah. if you believe in yourself or like believe in your teammates, like since you're talking about the team thing. Yeah, I remember then, like um I mean like if you believe in it then it can happen. Yeah, I remember like uh back in I think it's twenty fourteen it started in the World Cup when uh we believe that we will win. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. that that started like in the US I soccer. Think that, yeah. yeah, I think it was that year was that? in uh South Africa, I think it was. No, it wasn't um oh, Brazil. Was that World Cup at? Yeah, yeah, I think it was in Brazil. Brazil, yeah. Yeah, one of those years that started, but uh it's like that, like people, I uh, I hate when people just say they can't do something that like grinds my gears. Like I've never been like a type of person to saying like, I can't do something mm-hmm. like, like I may like, I think I may have said it before, like, oh, I can't do this, but I know like in the back of my head, like I can do something. Like if I put my mind to it, you can do like anything. I mean, I know that's like a cliche thing to say, like you can do anything you put your mind to, but you really can if you're willing to like put that work in. Mm-hmm. And I don't think, I mean, uh, uh, well, like, one of the first things I have, like, on my list is, like, environment. I feel like it's, like, a big thing when you grew up. Like, I, I, like, the high school we go to, I understand it's not, like, really a winning environment. Like, not all their sports teams are really, like, great. Like, their football team's not that great. Soccer hasn't always been great there. Um, but, like, they've had winning season. They have banners on their walls, obviously. It's, it's doable. Mm-hmm. But, like, 
uh, I, maybe it's like their environment, like they don't have those people around them, like a positive environment to be able to like push them. But it's just, I don't know. Um, I don't know. Where, where were you going with that? Uh, I mean, like, I don't know. I was just going to kind of jump into like everything, like the, how I was saying that like, you can't do something like mindset, like being able to establish like a positive mindset. Mm-hmm. But I was going to say to you, like, I had like a kind of like a question for you to open up. Like, what motivates you, like, every day to do, like, whatever you do? Um, I guess just the point of, I mean, people use the thing, like, how they want to just try and get better at something every day. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, like, even if it's not the same thing every day, you get a little bit better at, at I don't know, just something every day. Like, there was that one thing I told you about where, um, or somebody said, like, you get your 2% out every day or something. Oh, uh, yeah. Like, you get 2% better, better every day. Yeah. Or even if it's 1%. Better. I mean, like, it's just like that. Just trying to find ways to, I don't know, just make yourself a more well-rounded person. Mm-hmm. Like, physically, mentally, or however, whatever you want to yeah. do. But, I don't know. I mean, I guess you just have to, like, set goals for yourself if you want to improve in, a, in an aspect of life and just just work on it every day. Yeah, I agree with that. I mean, uh, I mean, there's like some days I'll like roll out of bed. Like I try to get up at least like by eight, like every day, mm-hmm. if not earlier. But um, uh, there's just some days like I and like in my head I'm like, oh man, I can't. I, like I don't want to do this right now. Like I try to get up and like lift these. That's like how I start like every day. That's how I get like moving in the morning. And like once I lift, like I'm fine. Like but yeah. it's just getting through that first like five minutes of the day is yeah. like to get me started. But I remember back in like middle school like I wasn't very like good at soccer like like I mean that's like hard 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 to look back now like to where I like got in like life with like soccer and stuff like that so yeah because like, I was like really bad at soccer I remember and uh I think it was just like like for this that, that like anecdote that I used before about like people thinking they can't do something like if you like watched me play soccer when I was like in sixth grade to like now you wouldn't believe like that I was the same person and like I feel like just having that voice in the back of your head telling you that you're able to do something putting your mind to it but Mm -hmm. like i had like this weird drive it was like you can't let like you can't if you're if you're gonna not practice you're gonna embarrass yourself out there is basically like what i was thinking like like i had to push myself like i remember i'd go outside like every day and just like play with the ball and like i'd get better like every day like how jordan said like the two percent or one percent like you get one percent better every day i did this for freaking years and i went to college and played soccer like back then i wouldn't even like imagine that but um it's just about being able to put one foot in front of the other and willing like just have the willingness to try to do something like i think that's like the first thing i mean you just have to um i don't know just find it in yourself to push yourself to to like keep working on it because like you think those professional athletes and stuff just went and messed around with their practices and stuff yeah just did what they wanted they they had to like put in the time in the weight room like hours and hours a day Uh probably in the weight room and like like say basketball like you have to practice all your dribble moves to shoot for hours a day to Mm -hmm. get the shots that that, like someone like steph curry makes those threes like they're nothing yeah like you go and shoot for hours a day in the in the gym you know i mean like you put like probably most of your day into yeah practicing practicing, craft But uh, I remember, I remember when we went to the bar with Michael when we were talking about how many hours I put in the soccer oh, in my lifetime. Yeah. I thought it was like ten thousand. It's like around like five thousand. Oh, yeah, it's like half half a mastery. Like that's what it is. Yeah. Like mastery is like ten thousand hours, is what people say. But yeah, ten thousand hours would take forever. Yeah, and I, that's like it's been. I've been playing since I was like six or like seven or something like that. Yeah. So and that's crazy that like seventy percent of my life has like been put in the soccer, and I've only like halfway to mastery. That's crazy. <laughs> But, um, the other question I had for you is like, how do you stay like positive and have like a motivational mindset, like during your day, even if like you feel like not doing something? Um, well, it's like you said about like having that voice in your head, I guess, like kind of just like talking to yourself. I think I actually wrote about that in the blog. I don't know if I got to that part yet or not. Mm -hmm. I can't remember about like, um, like positive um like affirmation like talking to yourself and telling yourself that you can like get through that or do it or whatever like if you have some kind of setback you just i mean like do something like look yourself in the mirror and say Mm -hmm. like 
I mean, like, it's all going to be all right. Like, I can get through this. Yeah. Like, I mean, like, most of the things that we fail at during the day or throughout a day, like, you fail at, you failed at it before or you're going to fail at it yeah. again. Like, I mean, you run into so many obstacles uh-huh. just every single day. Like, yeah. Just going outside and just doing something or going to work or school or whatever. Uh-huh. Like, you fail every single day. Yeah. So, I mean... <laughs> I mean, it's just things that are that become routine after a while. Yeah. That you could fail at it first, and then it becomes routine, and you just continue to do it every day until yeah. you get better at it or perfect at it or whatever. Yeah. Um. Like how you mentioned routine, that's like kind of like how I keep mine. Like I always have like one thing a day that I try to do, which is like waking up and lifting, like yeah. like so I can get into the motion of like doing other stuff. Some like I I think some people get better by not being in the root in a routine though. Like I've heard some things that say, um, um, like people try to change something in their routine, like every week or something, just yeah. to like switch it up. So it's not like them just going through the motions every day. Mm-hmm. And like when you wake up in the morning, like do something different instead of just like taking a shower, brushing your teeth, you know, like getting yeah. dressed or whatever, like just throw something else in there every day or every week or whatever mm-hmm. and switch it up and it'll make you like, I guess, appreciate the stuff you do more. So you're paying, you're more or paying more attention, I guess, to what you're doing instead of just, like, I could daydream through like everything day, yeah. in the morning. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a, oh, man, like, this last week, I've been doing, like, the same thing over and over, and so you mean, I kind of, like, daydream through my days, like, I, like I'll, like, click, click into it eventually, and, and I'll like, be like, where the, the hell did my day go? That happens like, when you drive sometimes. Oh, yeah, you don't know how you got like, places. you just go somewhere, like, if it's somewhere you go all the time, uh-huh. you drive there, and you're like, oh, man. Like, uh, yeah, how like, <laughs> that's, like, scary. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, that, that happens there, yeah, do you mean? People, remember Mrs. Klein talked to, did she talk to you about that in, like, health and class? And health class, yeah, you're, your brain goes on like, autopilot. It's technically a seizure. Like what? Yeah, it's technically like some kind of seizure. It's not like a thing that could hurt you, but it's like, like your brain like just tunes out because you're so used to mm-hmm. to doing that. Like it's just part of your routine. Like yeah. you said, so you're so used to doing it that it's just like, and like you can do it with your eyes closed. Yeah, I don't. That's that's weird. Like I mean, that's like scary too to think yeah. like how. I mean, I guess after a point, like your brain's like so like. Uh, I don't know, like, we don't know, like, everything about the brain, so, like, it might, I mean, it's obviously, like, an autopilot of, like, some sort, like, yeah. for your brain, but that's, like, I don't know, that's interesting. And that happens all the time now, too, um, like, when I go around the house, I always lose to forget where I put stuff, oh, yeah. because, <laughs> like, I just go around and lay stuff down in places and forget where I put it, like, yeah. I lose my phone, like, all yeah. the time, I, I lose, um, what do I lo- all the, uh, adapter for the iphone charger now oh uh, yeah no. i lose it every day i have it lost <laughs> right now and i haven't found it for the last two days it's probably laying somewhere in the house i, le- I left my phone on the fridge for like 20 minutes yesterday and couldn't find it <laughs> and it's just like that because you're so used to just doing whatever like walking around the house especially like i gotta walk around here with my eyes closed oh uh, yeah i know yeah for sure but um but like back to like the routine thing like i feel like maybe like switching some stuff up is fine but like if i didn't like like when i don't lift like the days i have off i feel like complete like shit like the entire day like i'll be like tired and like groggy and i mean sometimes i am like normally but not very often but like if i don't get up and like go lift i'm just like done with my day like my day's already over yeah but um and then like I'll, like, come home and, like, I'll drink, like, a shake and, like, get on, like, Twitter or, like, start editing a podcast or something like that. Like, that's, like, the two staples of my day that I have to have or it's, like, going to be, like, downhill from there. But um, I think everybody should try to find something that, like, it, you, I mean, I'm not saying you have to wake up early in the morning to be productive because some people are more productive at night and stuff like that. Like, it just depends on the person. But finding something, like, a staple in your day that motivates you to do other stuff. Like, people say taking a shower gets you motivated it to do does, stuff does was for me too like that's why i like to take showers in the morning yeah oh yeah me I too yeah i'll be asleep right after i wake up mm-hmm. like because i mean like i feel like if i wake up and like go sit on the couch or something mm-hmm. i like that i'm gonna like fall back to sleep <laughs> yeah. like it just like bores me yeah know? or i just don't feel like doing anything if i do that like mm-hmm. when i take a shower it's like it gets my mind like working because I was thinking yeah. about stuff a lot in the shower too. Uh, yeah, shower, shower thoughts. thoughts yeah, you, yeah, you guys should follow shower thoughts on Twitter too. Yeah, they have some interesting stuff. stuff. But um, yeah, I and mean, like it just gets my mind going and makes me like actually want to do something. Yeah, he's like uh, I, even after I lift, like after my pre workout starts, like my little buzz from my pre workout starts going down. I can like feel it, and I, I have to get in the shower like around like eleven or like noon at like the latest, or I'll like start like wanting to go to sleep. And like that definitely like motivates me to keep going, but uh, it's just it's just like the little things I feel like like the little things that motivate people, or like 
even if like for some reason you don't have a person that's like that influential like motivator in your life Mm -hmm. like like how we've had coaches that were that for like sports sometimes but sometimes we didn't and we had to like find that in ourselves and I feel like maybe somewhere along the line somebody's passed something down to you like whether it was like a speech or like something they said that this like keeps you like hungry for like the like push yourself and um I don't know it's just I just don't understand people that like aren't motivated it doesn't like resonate with me at all like I, I never like understood that but I mean, and there's there's people who are like way more motivated to do stuff than like I am, and it's just like, yeah. I don't know. Uh, um, I don't. Know. I just never understood that either, really. The like mm-hmm. people that would like, I don't know, that like go out. I mean, like I f- I get the feel of like playing sports just to be a part of the team thing. But yeah. Like, like in high school, especially, mm-hmm. but like um. Like when people don't care if you win or lose. Yeah, like that, uh, that. Yeah, and oh man, okay. Like, well, I, I never like I don't care who you're playing against or like what's whatever is yeah. happening or whatever. Like yeah. I mean losing's the worst. I mean like I'm not saying that losing's terrible that, that you learn from you it. You can but, learn a lot. But I mean I hate the people that's like whatever, like they they just like laugh and like Yeah, they they think it's funny, like I'm like, what the hell is funny about getting your ass kicked? Like yeah. But uh, I don't know. I mean, like I, I get, I get that some people can just like it doesn't bother them to lose. Yeah. Like they can just shake it off or whatever. But I mean, I didn't like it, especially in yeah. high school. It was just yeah. Yeah, and yeah, like I don't mean to go keep going back to my team, but like I, I think they need this like more than anybody right now. But like, but like I mean, they're like that for some games. I know when we played like North Catholic and Quaker Valley, they. Were, I mean, even though it was like three games in a row we played against against like three of the biggest schools you could have played, mm-hmm. and um. But even though I know they were probably like dead and tired, you can't go into go into a game thinking you're gonna get killed. I don't think I've ever gone into a game in my entire life thinking we were about to get massacred. No, I mean when we played soccer, like I mean that, I know I that, we were I good though. The, yeah, I know we were really good. That's why we don't, never thought <laughs> yeah. that we were gonna lose because we were used to beating everybody. Yeah, yeah. But I mean when we did lose, it wasn't. It was like a shot. It like kind of shocked us. I remember when we played Freedom, like oh, our opening game, we got killed. Game. Yeah, our very first game I mean, ever. That, that was like I um. I'm guessing that was like a humbling experience for most of us. Yeah, because we weren't like, we 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 never got blown no, up. Like anything. yeah, ever yeah. As far as long as we, but we didn't. Then again, we didn't have like the same team we had. Though. We had well, most of our team. It, yeah, we had we had a lot of our players. We didn't have all of them, but whatever. Um, I mean, yeah, but I mean, it was it was definitely a humbling experience. Yeah, getting blown out. The I think first real game. Yeah, in high like school. how you lose from failure. I think getting smacked in the mouth every once in a while yeah. is like a humbling experience. And then besides the time that we played them again, we never got like. We, we didn't even get really blown out the second anybody. time. We didn't even get killed that bad the second it time. Was it, still, it was like it was by like four goals. Four yeah, we, we got beat eight to one the first time. I think. Yeah, so. we got blown out. But um, but uh, I I I I don't know. I've just like even like when I when I see like people like practice and stuff. Now I see them like jogging around and like not wanting to do stuff or like just like talking while other people are talking. Like people need to learn to like learn from others. Like I think people think that they have all the answers and they can just like do whatever they want. But yeah. in reality, you, I, even me, like I know like 2% of everything that's in the world. Like that's about it. Yeah. Like, like I just talk about like what I know, which is like soccer sports, like a little bit of business and marketing and stuff like that. But like not like too much stuff. Like I, I couldn't tell you about like classical music for like hours. Like, I couldn't talk about that stuff. No. I know like a lot of music, but I don't know like that much about classical music. And like, I just think like listen, listening is like a huge thing to people. Like, if you listen to like people who are motivational, like if you would go and listen to Gary Vee's speech, man, you'd want to like run that's, through a wall. Like <laughs> that's like one thing that, um, that a lot of people don't do. Like I guess they don't listen to people. Mm-hmm. Again, that's what uh, people just. I'm mean, just like you said. They think they know everything. Like there's a lot of people like that now. So, mm-hmm. I mean, if I mean like you can learn a lot from listening to somebody. So yeah. Even even if it's like not exactly the most like positive person, like yeah. if even if they have a negative outlook, you can still li- listen to them, and know not to be like them. Like, yeah. I mean, um, I think I wrote a I wrote about that in the blog too. I, okay. I'm not sure if like it's the parts that I posted already or not, because um, like I wrote that a long time ago. Yeah. So um, yeah, it was just like about. Uh, I said, like, go out there and, like, challenge yourself. Like, it was about a challenge thing. Yeah. Like, that's part, that could be part of motivation, too. Uh-huh. But, um, um, like, to go out there and, like, challenge yourself to learn something new every day. So, mm-hmm. like, 
um i was talking about one part like about talking to somebody new like introducing yourself to somebody that you've never like talked to before yeah. and like learn something about them mm-hmm. like not their name but like learn something like something that they like to do or something like that yeah because like then you're learning something about mm-hmm. it or if you go out and listen to a podcast watch a youtube video mm-hmm. read a newspaper article or whatever yeah you like learn something from it so it's like just simple things like that yeah that you can do every day yeah um and like other things like I, I like when i went to college like before college like i never really had a problem with like playing against like people in soccer like people like i used to like bully people like mm-hmm. in soccer like they, they nobody left it in high school so it wasn't like any anything like different yeah. so like once you go to college like the kids are a little bit bigger <laughs> like yeah. the kids are like a little bit stronger and i remember i went into my first game we played just like some community college we played like wccc and they beat they freaking beat us because we, we had like remember, yeah awesome. glenn, glenn was hurt pogo was hurt dose dose was like playing bad mom was hurt like, yeah we, we lost them our very first game of the season and uh i remember their, their kids were like pretty big too and like um like i remember they were like they, they were like pushing me around and stuff and like that's like before me and alan like started lifting yeah. and uh i remember that i remember they did get me in the gym like every day even though i didn't want to be there i really didn't like lifting a lot at first um i was just like oh if you don't lift you're gonna get your ass beat like on the field like you're gonna get embarrassed like yeah. it's it's like that little voice that's like motivating you to do stuff and uh i mean then then obviously there's other benefits of like lifting like Mm-hmm. dealing with like depression or like anything that's like going on in your life it's just like your little thing away from home i guess yeah. but uh just finding motivation in yourself i guess i mean like obviously yeah um oh wait actually the challenge thing that i was talking about that's in the vlog that i just posted today because i do it? remember reading that when i was looking through it what do you mean challenge the, challenge yourself to do something to do something new and so oh okay because i was talking about uh like i brought up yes theory in that mm-hmm. blog post um yeah so if you're listening to the podcast don't forget to download share like comment leave a rate and review if you can uh sharing is the most important part remember to share it with all your friends and family spread the pot yeah sharing means caring (laughs) share the positivity share some variety in some people's lives um if you're watching this the description to the full length podcast will uh be in the description i think i said that wrong but you know what i meant um remember the like comment share subscribe that as well because uh, we are trying to grow our YouTube channel, and I have been working on our thumbnails a little bit more, if you guys have noticed. Uh, and um, remember to check out all of our social media, our Facebook, our Twitter, our Instagram, our Snapchat. We've gotten some more followers as well, which I like. Um, remember to check out our Patreon as well and donate to the tiers to enhance your listening and viewing experience. Uh, check out our blog and website. Um, make sure you comment and leave a like on there and share it with some people as well. And as always, have a positive and productive day. Shit that's considered legendary